Last seven days, what's happened in the market? Those of you who regularly listen to the show know that we have been giving these seven-day updates for about a year. Gosh, we've been doing these seven-day updates for probably almost two years. We started doing it during the pandemic because we wanted to understand what was happening specifically in the market. And if you look at it macro over a quarter or over six months, you miss changes in the market that we hope are uncovered or a light is shown on these uh, changes by looking at the numbers on a weekly basis. Remember that I have been looking for, I have been hoping for, for six months to a year for there to be more listings coming into the market than homes going under contract every week. And in this week, there is a big, B-I-G, big difference. If you are a buyer and you're wondering, is inventory starting to increase? Am I going to be able to have the opportunities to buy a home? The answer is yes. In the last seven days, there were 2,872 new listings entered in the multiple listing service, which is over 1,000 more than the 1,859 homes that went under contract. Now, if you remember for many, 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 many weeks, we would give you the number of homes that had a price decrease for the week, and for many, many, many weeks, it was in the 500, 600, 700 range, definitely below 1,000. But last week, 1,626 homes had a price decrease. That means over 50% of the total number of homes listed for the week had a price decrease. Now, I'm not saying that it was part of those listings that were listed that week, but what I'm saying is it was 1,626 homes with a price decrease in a week when we had 2,872 new listings. Again, 1,859 homes went under contract for the week, and there were 2,227 closings. I have conversations with sellers every day, and sellers say to me, have I missed my window? The answer is no. So even though we've got a lot more inventory coming on the market, we still have supply and demand that is out of balance. Last time I looked, there was less than two months worth of inventory in the metro Atlanta market, which means if you take all of the homes that are currently listed and you look at the sales patterns over the last 12 months, it says that it would take less than two months. I think it was 1.7 months. So it's basically, what is that, seven weeks to sell all the homes in that are currently listed. We believe that even though we're going to see increased inventory, even though we're seeing increased inflation, uh, increased pressure on mortgage rates due to inflation, the reality is there's still not enough inventory, not enough supply of homes. There have not been enough homes built in the United States of America since 2008 in order to satisfy the need for new housing units. And when your supply and demand is out of whack and you got too little supply and too little supply to meet the demand, it keeps prices moving in the correct direction. 